Hi everyone, welcome to So Boom. My name is Dips Maxwell and I am the owner of Savage and Bolds. Savage and Bolds is a is an online fabric shop based in Northampton in the Midlands. It's about one hour away from Birmingham. So normally this weekend I would be taking the train to Birmingham to spend some time with you lovely ladies. But unfortunately, due to COVID, we have to do it virtually. But yes, welcome to Subroom and I hope you are having fun. Just wanted to talk a little bit about my business. So like I said before, it's online. I do not currently have um, open days because as we all know, it's COVID, but hopefully next year, I'll be having more regular open days and I'll have more visitors. So I currently have this wonderful workshop where I store my fabric and where I cut my orders and where I do my fabric videos. So today I'm actually about to do a video for this new brocades that are online, but I'm just going to do a video to show them in all their glory. So normally what happens when I receive a, a delivery of fabric is I would remove them from the bolts or sometimes they come in rolls like you see behind, but then sometimes you have about four or five different fabrics on one roll. So I need to unroll them and then put them on rolls like this. So it's easier for me to cut and it's easier for me to store. No, then when I do that, I now have to take pictures of the fabric. I need to work out what the pricing is going to be. I need to list them online, do the descriptions, and then I need to do videos showing what they are like, how the drape, what the feel is like. I mean, it's difficult to show how fabric feels on video, but then I try. So for example, oops, that's heavy. This one. So this is a cotton jacquard but it's got some stretch to it which is perfect if you want to do a pair of fitted trousers because it's got the ease to accommodate our hips <laughs> or if you want to do a fitted dress i love making fitted dresses so this fabric will work perfectly for me so normally when i get this i'll show how it um hangs i'll show i'll demonstrate the stretch and I'll bring it closer so people can see this, the um, scale of, say, the hound's tooth. And generally just scrunch it up so people can see how it reacts when um, scrunched. So that kind of gives you an indication of if the fabric is going to rumple a lot when you put it on, when you sew it. So yeah, this is Savage and Balls. There's not much happening right now because it's winter and I don't like winter. But I'll be listing a couple of fabrics over the coming weeks. So do check in and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend with Charlotte and the rest of the Sobrum team. Thank you. Hi everybody, it's Lucy from So Essential here. I'm here to wish you a happy Sobrum. I hope you have a wonderful day. As somebody who's attended Sobrum several times over the years, because I am a Brummie, um, I really am sad that we can't all be there in person this year, but I know that Charlotte and Lauren have worked really hard to put together a fantastic day for you all. So I'm sure everybody will still have a great day virtually. And um, I decided not to do a tour of our business because we haven't got a shop front when we are an online business um, but what we do have is a warehouse absolutely packed full of all the sorts of sewing goodies you could possibly imagine so I have put a discount code in the goodie bag for you so you can get on and have a nice shop and enjoy yourselves on there with a bit of a cheeky discount code and also one lucky winner will also win the prize that we've donated to the raffle this year as well so have a fantastic time everybody I'm sure you will thanks very much for organising Charlotte and Lauren and thanks for inviting us to be part of it as well. See you all soon! Welcome to Sew Wardrobe in the heart of Ashby de la Zouche. We might not be in the heart of Birmingham but we're only 40 minutes away down the M42 motorway at Junction 12 
and this is our shop. On this floor we have got three rooms. This room is primarily dressmaking fabrics, linings, uh, threads, haberdashery. The next room is all full of patterns and uh, pattern books and we stock over 40 brands of independent pattern. And then we've got a third room full of lingerie fabrics. We stock every item needed to make a bra or a corset or a camisole or a nightdress or anything else as well as bra patterns and bra kits. We've also got a downstairs where we have um, cell fabrics and silks. Um, so it's all a lot of lots of lovely, lovely fabrics to look at here. And if you are part of Sobrum, we are going to give you a special discount if you've been watching this and you'd like to buy something mail order from us, which Emma is going to tell you about a little bit later on in the video. Let me introduce Emma to you. Emma is my shop manager. And Emma actually keeps me under control and tells me what to do. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of fun in this shop. Emma has got a degree in fashion textile design and she is great at putting fabrics together, colour coordinating, and she knows all about fabrics if you're struggling and she has some really great ideas. And Emma comes up with a lot of the ideas for our window as well, which is very special. And this is Abby. Abby's got a degree in contour from De Montfort University and Abby is our go-to girl for anything lingerie related. Uh, she's an expert at bras, corsets, knickers. She's the one to ask about bra findings or any queries of your bras. And Emma and Abby together have a great, great relationship in the shop. <laughs> it's always full of laughter and fun and um, they really make it an absolute pleasure to visit and a pleasure for everybody who comes in and to work here. So Wardrobe is located on Market Street, which is the main street that runs through Ashby de la Douche. And on there you'll find loads of local shops, cafes, bars, salons, lots of little independents. And as you come in, this is the first room of So Wardrobe. And as you can see, it's where we keep all our fabrics. You can also see that we don't actually stock our fabrics on the shelves in fabric types. This is because we like to do it in colours so that you might pick out a plain boiled wool for example for a jacket or a coat and then build your wardrobe around it so maybe a plain crepe for a trouser or a skirt and a pattern of the similar colour for a top. So as you can see we've got quite a, an extensive range of fabrics. There are actually more downstairs as well. We've got some silks and sail fabrics downstairs. There's our remnants over there and of course our linings. On this side of the room, we carry an extensive range of acetate taffeta linings. We've got quite a few colors there, as you can see. Not all are on our website, but if there's something there that you spot, we're quite happy to send that out to you in the post, take payment over the phone or via PayPal. We've become recent stockists of Liberty of London fabrics, which we're very pleased about. They're not all in at the moment. This is from the autumn winter collection this season. And we've got the Tarna lawns, the poplins and I believe a corduroy up there and we've also got a few of the Linton tweeds there's also some remnants of Linton tweed on our website. Zeding out of the fabric room I'm gonna get Abby to give us a tour <laughs> this is our we've got obviously on the left hand side of the shop we've got our Gutterman threads and our mean threads and this is our pattern room with our pattern wall I think Alison's already said we've got over 40 independent pattern brands and we also carry some of the big four. So we do Simplicity, Vogue and New Look. And we also carry Prim Haberdashery. Leading on from our pattern room is our lingerie room, it's dedicated lingerie room. Everything you need for your bra making or lingerie making. And Abby's the expert in this field. So we carry an extensive range of laces, elastics, um, bra findings um, in lots of different colourways. So all you need to make your lingerie. We also stock a daisy bralette pattern, which is individual to us here at Sew Wardrobe. Um, and we offer a kit alongside this pattern too. So that includes your lace, your elastic, everything you need to make that pattern. We've recently started doing a bra kit, which again includes all you need to make a bra. It doesn't include the pattern but we have sorted our quantities to match all the independent patterns that you'll find on Instagram or on the internet at the moment. And this is one that Alison has made in one of our bra kits. 
We stock a wide range of bra patterns, um, we do a corsetry pattern too, and we carry all of the flexi spirals, the steels, the busks, everything you need to make your own corset. We then have a lot of lingerie fabrics as well, um, your all over laces, your satins, um, your deniers, your power nets, a whole variety of things to make your lingerie. We hope you've enjoyed your tour of Sew Wardrobe and we hope you've enjoyed Sew Brum. To celebrate, we'd like to offer you 10% off all online purchases. It will run from Friday the 16th of October midnight through to Saturday the 17th of October midnight. If you put in code SEWBRUM10 at the checkout, you will get 10% off all purchases on our website. Hi, my name is Ming Yu Du. I'm a sewer and owner of Blackbird Geranium, a studio based in Birmingham, uh, which focuses on making everyday items using Liberty London fabric. Really glad to join this uh, soap room online meetup event with all of you together. Um, during these years of work, I developed a wide range of everyday items, uh, only use this beautiful fabric. Starting from the simple um, cushion covers and bags like uh, cosmetic bags, tote bags and metal frame bags, I learned the um, basic skill of how to use the sewing machine and the simple uh, sewing skills. Um, uh, after that, with the intention to design um, uh, small things for all aspects of my life, I uh, made my next range, which are the stationery, like the uh, notebooks, the bookmarks and paperweight, which I used all the time. Then I dive into the jewelry making world um, to create my own range of fabric jewelry. I always love wearing jewelry and being able to wear my own is very fascinating. Uh, like this um, necklace and uh, earrings and so on. Um, my most recent uh, work are the zero waste uh, uh, range because with uh, uh, more learning about the sustainability, I realized actually we can do a lot by simple changes of some little everyday items. Uh, like the the face wipe, which can be washed again and again to reduce the cotton pad throwing away, and the um, the travel bag for the soap and toothbrush to reduce the use of plastic, uh, and also the fushiki, uh, which is a traditional Japanese wrapping method to reduce the waste of wrapping paper. I really enjoy making things with my own hand and I believe you share um, the same joy as well. Hope you have a great time at the Soul Broom um, event with our large Birmingham sewing community together. Thank you. Hello, so from attendees, my name is Sarah Fowles and I'm co-founder of Yarning and Festival and Stitches and Hose. Hello, so from attendees, I'm Helen from Yarning and Festival and Stitches and Hose. Stitches and Hose originally started in 2007 as a social knit night in the back room of a pub. Since then, it's grown to encompass not only our monthly knit nights, as well as a core group of four who devise projects with Stitch at their heart and our annual yarn festival, Yarningham. Yarningham is a two day festival held annually in Birmingham. We're not like any other yarn festival as we look, see and do things differently. As the UK's only black led yarn festival, we are unique. Yarningham is the place to find new dyers and producers. We ensure that at least 50% of our marketplace is new to us each year, ensuring that it is always evolving and changing. The fifth edition of Yarn and Yarn will take place on the 10th and 11th of July 2021 at the Upcom Centre, comprising of the market play, its demonstrations and of course cake. We also have an exciting programme of stitch-based workshops. 
Imogen Morris is a Birmingham-based embroidery artist who creates hand-stitched pieces using triangle shapes. She will be leading an embroidery workshop to stitch your own polygonal image. Deborah Clark is based in the Jewellery Quarter, where she creates handmade leather goods. Deborah has put together a bespoke workshop to make your own leather purse decorated and stitched by hand. Black Girl Knit Club are a knitwear collective based in East London. They will be joining us to host short drop-in workshops making a knitted bracelet using their exclusive wax print yarn. All these workshops are suitable for complete beginners. Stephen West, an American designer based in Amsterdam, is leading two knitting workshops during the festival called Colour Play, The West and Its Way and Shawl Evolution. Our venue, the Uthcombe Centre, is a Grade 2 listed building that is the former home of the Cadbury family. Now owned by Birmingham and Solihull Mental Health Foundation Trust, all income made from the venue goes straight back into the NHS. Here's a short video we filmed of a walk around our venue. Here we are at the driveway entrance to the Uffcolm Centre. This is what you will see when walking up the driveway. On the event days, there will be arrows and signage to point you in the right direction. They will look something like this. You will also need to drive this way if you have reserved a disabled parking space, as they are located right outside the front of the building. Here is the main entrance, which is where you can buy tickets, sign in for workshops and collect pre-booked tickets. You will also receive a free show guide which contains a map of all the rooms. If you are driving, this is the main car park, which is free to use for visitors to the Uffcombe Centre. There will be signs as well as car parking attendants who will help point you in the right direction. You then need to walk round to the main entrance along the driveway to enter the building. In front of me, you can see the grounds at the rear of the building. There is a patio area with outdoor seating. Down here on the grass is where the marquee will be located, next to the extra car parking space. The marquee will house the social area, cake stand, yarn winding station and demonstrations along with drop-in workshops. This is the rear of the building, showing from left to right the cafe, the Tavistock room, the conservatory and the Plymouth room. To stay updated about Yarningham, follow us on Instagram or Facebook. Just search for Yarningham. Thank you for watching.